Welcome back to Daily Cardiology, where we turn medicine into mastery and mastery into legend. Today, you're about to enter the ultimate ECG showdown. 12 questions, each one sharper than the last. Your mission, identify the rhythm before I reveal the truth. Grab a pen, take a breath, and let's see if you have what it takes to become a true ECG legend. Our first ECG shows a wide QRS, heart rate around 180 per minute, and no visible P waves. This rhythm looks fast, furious, and potentially fatal. Your options. A, supraventricular tachycardia. B, atrial fibrillation. C, ventricular tachycardia. D, ventricular fibrillation. Think quickly. Wide QRS, no P waves, deadly fast. What's your pick? The correct answer is ventricular tachycardia. If the patient's alive, shock them fast because this rhythm won't wait for anyone. One down, 11 to go. Let's see how far you can go before you flatline. The ECG looks chaotic. No pattern, no P waves, no real QRS complexes, just trembling lines. No pulse, no cardiac output, just chaos. Your options. A, asystole. B, ventricular fibrillation. C, torsades de pointe. D, atrial flutter. What rhythm looks like a heart dancing without purpose? The correct answer, ventricular fibrillation. It's pure electrical anarchy, no output, no pulse, and only one treatment, defibrillation, immediately. If you got that right, congratulations, you just saved a life. This one looks calm. Regular rhythm, normal rate, perfect P before every QRS. No drama, no chaos. Your options. A, sinus tachycardia. B, normal sinus rhythm. C, first degree heart block. D, junctional rhythm. Don't overthink this one. And the answer is, Normal sinus rhythm. Yes, this is what every heart wants to look like. Enjoy that moment of peace, because the next one is not so peaceful. This ECG shows that famous sawtooth pattern in leads 2, 3, and a VF. Atrial rate around 300, ventricular rate around 150. Steady, regular, but clearly not normal. Your options, A, atrial flutter, B, atrial fibrillation, C, SVT, D, sinus tachycardia, sawtooth pattern, you already know this one. The answer, atrial flutter, a rhythm that looks neat but hides chaos beneath. All right, that's four done. And if you're four for four, you're already showing potential. But the next one will test your observation. The ECG shows no P waves, irregularly irregular RR intervals, and completely unpredictable timing. It's messy, chaotic, and classic. Your options, A, atrial flutter, B, sinus arrhythmia. C, atrial fibrillation. D, multifocal atrial tachycardia. Irregularly irregular. That's your clue. And the answer, 
Atrial fibrillation. Remember this. No P waves plus irregular rhythm is equal to AFib. Still with us? Perfect, because now we step into the world of heart blocks. This ECG looks almost normal, except for one thing. The PR interval is longer than usual, more than one big box, but every P wave still conducts to a QRS. Your options, A, Mobitz, type one, B, Mobitz type two, C, first degree heart block, D, complete heart block. Hmm, long PR, but all P waves are followed by QRS. The answer, first degree heart block. A delay, not a failure. The signal takes its time, but it gets there. You've survived the first six ECGs, but from here on, the challenge intensifies. This is where legends are forged and pretenders fall. Let's dive straight in. Our patient's ECG shows something tricky. The PR interval gets longer and longer, and then suddenly a P wave appears, but no QRS follows it. What do you think this rhythm is? Your options. A, first degree heart block. B, Mobitz, type one, Venkabach. C, Mobitz, type two. D, third degree heart block. Listen closely. PR interval progressively lengthens, then drops a beat. The answer, Mobitz type one, also known as Venkabach. The heart hesitates more and more until it just skips one. If you spotted that, nice work because the next one is more dangerous. This time, the ECG shows some P waves that just don't go anywhere. PR intervals are constant when the QRS appears, but some P waves are completely dropped without warning. Your options, A, Mobitz, type one. B, Mobitz, type two. C, Complete heart block. D, sinus pause. Constant PR, random dropped beats. The correct answer, Mobitz, type two. This one's a serious red flag because the next missed beat could be the one that stops the heart. Mobitz, type two always needs a pacemaker, always. Now, the ECG looks confusing. P waves and QRS complexes are both present, but they're dancing to their own rhythm. No coordination, no communication. The atria and ventricles are beating independently. Your options, A, Mobitz, type one. B, junctional rhythm. C, third degree heart block. D, Sinus bradycardia. Independent atrial and ventricular activity. Yes, it's third degree or complete heart block. The electrical highway is fully closed. Atria go their way, ventricles go theirs. No signal gets through. That's a total disconnection and it's a medical emergency. All right, let's raise the stakes. This ECG shows a twisting pattern around the baseline. The QRS complexes appear to spiral upward and downward with a heart rate around 200 beats per minute. Your options, A, ventricular fibrillation, B, torsade de pointe, C, ventricular tachycardia, D, supraventricular tachycardia, That twisting motion, that's your clue. 
The answer, torsades de point. It literally means twisting of the points, usually caused by prolonged QT interval or certain medications. Beautiful but deadly. A rhythm that can kill in seconds. This ECG looks flat. There's barely any activity. No P waves, no QRS, no T waves. Just a straight line. Your options. A, fine ventricular fibrillation. B, asystole. C, electrode detachment. D, pulseless electrical activity. Flat line, no movement, no electrical signal. The answer, a systole. The heart has completely stopped. And no, you don't defibrillate a systole. You start CPR and give epinephrine. If you ever see this in real life, it's not just an ECG. It's a call to action. You've made it this far. One last ECG. This patient presents with palpitations and shortness of breath. The ECG shows a narrow complex tachycardia at 160 beats per minute. P waves are hidden, possibly buried inside the QRS. Your options, A, AVNRT, B, atrial fibrillation, C, atrial flutter, D, AVRT. Hidden P waves, regular narrow complexes. The final answer, A V N R T, atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia. A rhythm that starts and ends in a heartbeat, literally. Often triggered by stress, caffeine, or sudden movement. And that, my friends, was the final ECG of your medical legend challenge. Now it's time to count your score. Three to five correct. You're a medical student in training. Great start. Six to eight correct. You're a resident. Quick on your feet, sharp under pressure. Nine to 10 correct. You're an attending physician, seasoned and steady. 11 correct. You're a professor of ECGs. 12 out of 12. Congratulations, you are officially a ECG master, a legend. So what's your score? Drop it in the comments. And if you love this challenge, like, share, and subscribe to Daily Cardiology for more heart-pounding quizzes just like this. Stay curious, stay confident, and always keep your heart in rhythm. See you in the next episode.